Hello, I'm Cam, owner of Monument Limited. We print t-shirts. In this screen printing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print one of these without using one of these. Here's a list of things you'll need. One exposed screen, covered in a previous video. Two clamps, one 12 inch squeegee, one roll of screen printing tape, one can of spray tack, one 100% cotton black t-shirt, one heat gun, one quart of white plastisol ink, one ink spatula, one quart of emulsion remover in a spray bottle, a spray nozzle, and a 14 by 20 inch, three quarter inch thick board. Step one, tape the screen. Use the tape to create a dam at all four edges where the mesh meets the screen frame. Then tape up any pinholes from the bottom. Perfect. Step two, ink the screen. Use the spatula to scoop the ink out of the container and spread it evenly below the image in the screen. Place your squeegee in the screen and set the screen aside. Spray a light mist of spray tacky onto the board and load the t-shirt. Grab the screen and place it over the shirt. Use the clamps to secure the screen and board to the table. Step four, time to make the print. Use the squeegee to pull ink across the image. Maintain a solid, consistent downward pressure to drive the ink into the shirt below. Do a second pass to ensure good ink coverage. Unclamp the screen from the table and lift it from the shirt. Step five, cure the ink. Wave the heat gun over the image to cure the ink. Plastisol ink needs to hit 320 degrees to achieve a full cure. We don't have one here, but another alternative is to use your home oven. Set it to 330 degrees, throw that shirt on a cookie sheet and stick it in there for 30 seconds. You'll have a perfectly cured shirt ready to wear. One of the easiest ways to make sure you got a full cure is to do a stretch test. See those cracks? That means that area didn't get cured fully. So I'm gonna hit it with heat one more time. Step six, time to clean up. Scrape whatever residual ink you can out of the screen, also placing it back in the container. Then apply the emulsion remover to both sides of the screen. Let it sit for three to five minutes and then scour that puppy with the scrub pad to loosen the emulsion from the mesh. Use the water hose and spray the flat side of the screen until the emulsion is fully washed away. Now we're gonna use the dehazer degreaser that we used in our how to make a screen video to prep this thing and get it ready for our next coat of emulsion. Thanks for watching the vid. If you liked it, punch the thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with your friends. If there's a tutorial you'd like to see me make, leave it in the comments.